Hammett Mehta over at The Friendly Atheist recently brought to light a story, another story, involving internet phenomenon Joshua Feuerstein, the red bull-capped creationist who gained international fame last fall with his challenge to atheists to prove God doesn't exist. I took a few minutes at the time to respond to his challenge. So far, I haven't seen a response to my response. Anyway, he's apparently mixed up in another story where he allegedly harassed a Florida bakery and seems to have recorded a call to the owner without her knowledge or consent. By the way, that's against the law in Florida. Hammond's following the story, so are many of us, but I want to come back for a second to the campaign that Joshua Feuerstein did last fall, because it leads me to an interesting question. The very nature of Feuerstein's challenge revealed a poster boy for misunderstanding and misinformation. On top of his hugely lazy claims and queries, he offered a $100,000 reward. Strangely enough, he then went on social media to ask his thousands of followers for money so he could buy a video camera, specifically a Red One camera, which for Josh's purposes would be the equivalent of you or I buying a commercial bucket loader so we could go out in the backyard and plant azaleas. It's just unbelievable overkill. Look, I've been a professional video producer since 2004, and I've used high-end cameras in and out of the studio. But honestly, here in the year 2015, I do most of my shooting on this. It's a little Canon XA20. It's lightweight. It's portable. It's easy to use. It shoots clean. Picked it up a couple years ago. Ran me about two grand. Not 20 grand. Two grand. The webcam on my computer. I use it for YouTube sometimes. It shoots great. HD 1080p. 80 bucks at Best Buy. I've got a smartphone right here in my hand that shoots 1080p high def video like millions of other smartphones out there. And this may be news to Josh Feuerstein. Smartphone videos come with a handy dandy feature which allow you to go from vertical shooting to horizontal framing simply by how you hold the device. My point is this, if you're shooting a feature film, television shows, or high-end commercial stuff, red cameras are beautiful options for you. If you're shooting your face and voice for YouTube, you need a $20,000 camera like I need a Ferrari to drive to the grocery store. Yeah, it'd be cool, but it's not practical, it's not necessary, and it's certainly not something other people should ever be asked to pay for. You can do what you do inexpensively, easily, and without placing a burden on other people. And honestly, if you've got the bank to offer a hundred grand on any grounds, why the hell don't you have enough money for your own video camera? You know, as somebody who does this for a living, it actually frightens me a little bit. The idea of an amazing piece of technology like the Red One in Josh Feuerstein's hands. I mean, if he approaches it like he approaches all the other science-based stuff in his life, he'll probably shoot everything backward or with a lens cap on and then blame his critics and the devil for persecuting his footage. But now that the fundraising campaign is long over, many of us are wondering why his latest video, the one he just put up on the internet, was again shot on his cell phone. It's been like six months since he raised the money for the red camera, plenty of time to allow for variables like back orders and shipping and reading the instructions, doing test footage, experimenting with different lenses, tripods, learning editing software, whatever. I mean, if Josh invested in the camera, where's the camera? Why has his GoFundMe page for that camera been taken down without a word? Why has Josh apparently been populating his social media pages with personal photos highlighting expensive watches? He's spending some coin on jewelry and he's asking his followers for camera money? Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Look, check out my fancy high dollar automatic timepiece. By the way, help me. I really need some cash. By the way, for the price of some Cartier watches, you could purchase well over a hundred HD webcams and about half a dozen Canon XA20s, just FYI. Now, I don't know the answers to these questions, but seeing how this guy is, one, acting in the name of God, and two, asking in the name of God, I think the questions have merit. And I think Joshua Feuerstein owes the public a reasonable answer. Josh, where's the camera? What's up with the Cartiers? Where's the accountability, man? With so much time passed and so little explained or delivered, if I was one of those people who gave you my hard-earned money, I would definitely be seeing red 